it's always a pleasure. Love you guys. What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. James Shu, how are you, good sir? Dot com. I'm fired up, motivated, and passionate in a brand new way more than ever before. Ever before. I feel that way too. You know what I mean? Uh, no, but it's I do now. Tuesday. Tuesday night. Uh, Fourth Taco July, Tuesday. Fourth of July weekend. Woo! We are going to be celebrating two totally different movies. Both, <laughs> both sequels, though. We have Terminator Genesis and Magic Mike. Double XL. XL, baby. What movie are we going to focus on first? We're going to first talk about Double XL, All Magic right, let's Mike. let's talk about it. Magic Mike, a movie that came out three years ago, which obviously scored huge with an audience. Um, women uh, loved it. Women, uh, who and men who liked watching Chan oh, Tatum dance and, and get all um, really... Uh, Fired up, motivated, and passionate. Exactly. Um, however, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. I think the movie definitely had elements of good filmmaking, and like it was really surprising because everyone's like, "Oh, this movie's gonna be about a, you know just a bunch of male strippers." It's just kind of feeding into the box office. But you know, a lot of critics actually really enjoyed the first Magic Mike. I was kind of iffy on it, but it definitely had elements of good filmmaking. I felt it was a bit long and a bit pretentious. But nonetheless, the sequel is here, and Kevin Nash is back. So Wolfpack. You know, I don't think most people Sweet. get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I thought of the first one, now that he let me talk, is uh, I thought it was fine. You know, but Steven uh, Soderbergh. Soderbergh, he has a type of film that the music and he just like has talking and I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like uh, that's the thing with I mean, the, the talking and the music and the good, beautiful setup and shots. There's just ways that he does it that just makes you say, blah. So you just want to see Chan Tatum get down and dirty. Get down and dirty, baby. <laughs> on it, jump on it. Oh, this guy, he's, a, he's on something tonight. All right. Let's go see Magic Mike Double XL, two, two hours. hours long. Gregory Jacobs, a director that probably no one's really heard of, has done two other projects, but uh, not very, very popular ones. So I'm interested to see what he does with this uh, project. All right, so let's see how the film is. Let's go. Woo! See! Alright guys, so we just got out of Magic Mike Double XL. <laughs> what a name. Okay, this is what I felt about it. The parts that they're dancing, if you like dancing men, you're gonna like this movie a lot. <laughs> my girlfriend was fired up, motivated, passionate, and brand new way. I haven't seen my girlfriend that excited and I don't know if I've ever seen her that excited before. Since Magic um, Mike 1. Yeah, Magic Mike 1. <laughs> Joe Magliano. Dude, that guy's like not even human, bro. That guy's like body. I'm just saying, I'm, <laughs> hey, at least I can admit it. His body, bro, is like, Jesus. Like, it's not even real. Chain Tatum was Chain Tatum. And then Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. Sweet! <laughs> you know, that's cool. The Guys. movie overall, it was fine. But there's more negative than positive. That when they were on the beach, did they just not bring the lights? <laughs> or did, did they run out of budget? <laughs> like, you hear talking, you don't see nothing. It's so bad. The lighting for Magic Mike 2, right? I'm not trying to sound like one of those, like... like, like I'm not trying to... I'm not, just, I'm not a filmmaker. I could never make a Hollywood film. I couldn't do any better. But Jesus, man, you're giving me like 30 million, 40... I don't know how much the budget was. But you couldn't see the actors. Yeah, Channing Tatum was white, so you could see his teeth. Like, that's all you could see. And like... Um, and the movie has these dancing, and then they go into these uh, time riffs where they just talk for like 10 minutes, and it slows the whole thing down, and you're kind of like, what is the point of what we're talking about? Is there any point of what we're talking about? All right, let's jump on it, and then they start dancing again. And then the ending scene where they had like the five dancers do their thing, that was cool, it was fun. You know, it was, I mean, I'm not going to recommend it. I'm going to say this. If you've seen part one and you liked part one, watch part two. If you are a huge fan of watching T Channing Tatum's abs jump around, go see it. But Just hey, the dancing's entertaining. The, some of the, you know, yeah, the, 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 uh, some of the, the last scene I said that. Again, yeah, we're very entertaining. However, the movie has no point. Like this movie literally is, is I'm so blown away because of how stupid this movie is. And I don't throw words like that around often, but I have to. Magic Mike tells us about this struggling guy who wants to break out of the male entertainment business and build his own company. He does that. He finds a woman that takes him out of the game. He tries to settle down. In this movie, what does he do? He just up and leaves because he can't afford someone's health care. He says, oh, well, I'm going to go on this road trip for a little bit of fun. There's no stakes. There's no point. We never talk about his business again. So basically, forget whatever I said in the first movie. This is the lifestyle that I want to live is basically what this movie is saying. Um, like you said, this movie was shot 
terribly. It's not something we really talk about here um, that often unless it's truly kind of something that's worth pointing out. <laughs> the first movie had actually really great cinematography. There's some really beautiful shots on, of him on the beach and, and the way that that movie was filmed actually had a really great quality to it. It was a story that couldn't match up. This movie's story equals the filmmaking. I watched so many scenes where they were literally out of focus that the camera was out of focus that I'm watching this blur I, I, for a second I thought we were in a 3d movie and I forgot my glasses <laughs> that's how blurry it was. it was so awful Jada Pinkett Smith has a role in this movie and the lighting is so poor and the focus is so low that I couldn't even recognize her I didn't know it was her until we had a close-up <laughs> of her and and I mean like wh what why in the, the beach scene now I rem I kind of remember Magic Mike having a similar feel where there were some scenes where they just wouldn't let you see things it was kept dark but th I mean I don't even so we're supposed to believe Magic Mike has, has an interest in this movie. I don't get to see her until 30 minutes, 40 minutes later when after we first introduced her. We get her name, or we don't even really get her name. We just, we get her, uh, her drag queen name in the very beginning of the movie on the beach. And then we don't actually see her face until way later. Um, this movie was, you know, Channing Tatum in this movie talks about the worst ideas of the year, and this was definitely one of them. The Razzie? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about a Razzie, because, I mean, this movie's obviously gonna make money. I think fans are gonna come in and see this picture. We had a lot of, of, of ladies in the in the theater screaming and chanting oh, and cheering. I will say this. You know what the good thing about this movie was? We had surround sound. <laughs> like, we had girls behind us, like, they were, woo! Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if you're gonna watch Double uh, Double XL Magic Mike, watch it with a theater full of people. Yeah, absolutely. And it, because it's, that, it's it, fun. It, yeah, it is fun. You know, yeah. everyone's having a blast. It makes things a little bit more entertaining. But at the end of the day, if I take away the fact that you know girls are just screaming as Channing Tatum rips off his shirt, and we look at this movie as a whole entire picture, would I watch this? Would I? Would you watch something something like this ten years down the road? Would you watch it at something at home? I don't want to no. watch it again. Yeah, I would never want to watch it again either. <laughs> but probably a lot more. A lot more. I'd avoid this movie a lot more than you would. Yeah. Awful. But, you know. And I, and I hate really, and I don't really kind of, I don't like really picking on a movie that harsh, but it's true. Like, that movie gave me no risk, no point, no theme, except, ah, forget the first movie. This is, just, just, just go with it. All right. Like, so, this whole convention's never even explained to us. Like, what it is. Like, it's a convention, so I'm expecting convention, but, the but it's only a competition. One, and they're the only one that got to do <laughs> they're anything. The only, they're the only one that gets to do anything. They're the only one, you know, it's just we don't even know if they win or what they win. I don't know anything that's going on, and it's so poorly established. Um, I will say, Jada Pickett Smith is actually really good in this movie when we actually finally get to see her. And, um,. Who else made an appearance in this movie that I thought was good? Um, what's the young boy's name? The guy's name? Um, Glover? Um, I'm spacing his name. The young boy. The um, I know his name. Well, I can't remember it right now. But once you see it, you know who I'm talking about. He's a singer. He's really, really popular. No? Nothing? Well, his name, I think his last name's Glover. I can't remember the name. He has like an artist name, but I don't remember what it is. I'm blanking right now. Anyway, I thought he was pretty good to the movie, too. Other than that, I don't see any point in this movie. ChaseTheCinema.com really slash Magic Mike XXL. And then you can get the full review, which is written by <laughs> myself, Jace, Jacob R. Toronto. Yes. And then um, I have a feeling out of four stars that's going to be in the upper echelons of the... <laughs> the lower echelons, I guess. The lower echelons. <laughs> All right, if you haven't seen our review for Terminator Genesis, it's already online, so what are you waiting for? Check out the channel. Do it, go check out our review for Terminator Genesis. We are talking about that. Next week, we're gonna be talking about the new horror film, The Gallows and Minions, this. And remember last Banana. week? Remember last week we were like doing doo 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 doo. You know we actually took the light off of this thing. Ba 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 ram. Ba 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 we can't sing. No, but that's why we do what we do. This is true. <laughs> We're not singers, just idiots in a movie theater by ourselves. Do, 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 do. Let's go hit some Terminator up. All right, so yeah, check out that uh, review. Yes. And uh, we'll be back in seven days. Seven days. And ChasingCinema.com is known as the Film Lovers website.